Okay, this is a little short video I would do. I thought I would uh, show you some of the trains I like to model. I'm a, a big Atlantic Coastline Railroad fan. This is a picture from 1953 of uh, the Myrtle Beach Mixed Train. The Myrtle Beach Mixed Train ran from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina on to Chadburn, North Carolina where it connected with trains that ran between Wilmington uh, and uh, Florence. Uh, and those trains went on to Atlanta and then points either north or south. This train I'm modeling here, uh, of course I model Atlantic Coastline. Uh, this is the same train I'm modeling, however I do not have the same locomotive number. This is an Atlas unit that came out a few years ago under the Atlas Classic. I have put sound in it. It has uh, one of the early MRC sound decoders. Not the best in sound, but I kind of like it because it has a nice you know, bell and ring and uh, some other things. So. This is the lead locomotive that I've tried to model what, which came into Myrtle Beach. Uh, of course these units were typical running down between uh, Chadburn and Myrtle Beach. Sometimes you'd see an F3 running into Myrtle Beach um, or an F7 along with these units. This is uh, Charleston and Western Carolina Railroad uh, hopper car that came from Branch Line Trains. The CNWC, of course, is another railroad that ran in South Carolina up in the Spartanburg Greenville area and was a subsidiary of the Atlantic Coastline. Uh, we have an ACL box. I've tried to model the train just after, like the picture. Of course, I can't tell whether or not all these are the particular cars, but they're very similar. Of course, Myrtle Beach had several uh, businesses and warehouses and things like that that brought in goods. Also, this here, uh, this is a little car. This is my seaboard. Uh, what we call ventilated box car. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, I'll kind of zoom in here. Uh, one of the cool things I did in this car, you see a little guy there. Uh, maybe I better zoom out a little bit. And that is a guy that uh, is eating watermelon. Those are scale watermelons, actually true scale watermelons. And then I used grape seeds uh, and painted the, the, the what they call the rattlesnake watermelons and put them in there. I know that's some probably serious modeling, but and the guy looks like he's got a piece of watermelon in his hand and eating that. Of course, uh, Myrtle Beach had a lot of, you know, industry served. We have Gulf Gas. We had a couple of gas distributors here. This is the Gulf car. This is a Mantua car. Uh, and then then they, they would run a baggage car into Myrtle Beach. This was the mixed train. Uh, that's what we call the daily mixed train. And basically, I painted this car. It's an ACL baggage. It's an Atherton car. It's very close to what ACL had. Uh, as far as their baggage cars, and I painted that one. Later, Atherin came out with that car. Uh, actually painted, and they've done a whole series of cars uh, with that paint scheme. That's the uh, 1953 paint scheme they did at Rocky Mount. And then finally, I did this car. This is a model die casting car. Uh, I'm real proud of this car. Uh, it's it's a wood caboose, uh, caboo, excuse me, wood uh, passenger car. And basically, this is a model die casting car. I also painted and lettered this car and I actually put people in it. I lighted it and put an interior in it. Uh, I've got the sun shades there kind of pulled down in different places but it was an old wood car and that's what they ran. This is coach 934 and they ran this coach to Myrtle Beach and back to Chadburn. And uh, I painted it this color because in the photos that I've seen most of the colors of these, these uh, cars were this color. They faded in the summer sun. Uh, so this is very close to what the 934 coach that used to come into Myrtle Beach looked like that ran on this daily mixed train. And then finally of course this is a caboose here. This is not a of course an M3 caboose as most ACL fans would know. This is a Mantua caboose. I tried to paint it up as close to an M3. Uh, American Models I think came out with the M3 later on in a wood kit you could buy but I haven't bought one of those. But I did use, um, painted this and basically used the uh, micro scale decals and did this unit up as close as I could to an M3. So this is my little uh, mixed train here. I'm real proud of it. I like running it. Kind of gives me uh, little options of working the industries and then working on to back into the pasture yard. But uh, uh, this is just typical and I try to model, like I said, trains that are that ran into the Myrtle Beach area and uh, there she is so hope you enjoyed the video